that's often the very first impression people have of your business and the way you answer the phone could make or break your business. It could make or break that client experience. And Jazz Ray is going to give this presentation on your phone voice. And she has been with Aloha Mailing Services. Um, she formed it in March 2017 to support business growth and success by providing turnkey administrative services and a professional office environment. She has 14 years of customer service, more recently adding virtual office and mail forwarding. She's a perfect fit for this because she cares personally about each of her clients. So Jazzeray is, is here to help us with the administrative end of our business. Hello everyone. How are you? How are you today? How's feeling right now. I, um, my business name is Aloha Mailing Services with the shared virtual office but I, what I will be talking about today is your phone etiquette. Anyone here have great phone skills? When they answer a phone? Do you guys sound alive? Do you sound happy? Do you sound like oh, I don't like my job? Or <laughs> yeah. So with that being said, poor phone skills can seriously damage your business as being an individual. Um, we do have our person, our personalities where we talk on a regular basis in your own in your own comfortable way, and then when you have a business, you do have to talk professional, correct? Yes. Correct. So, ha so with that being said, has anyone here experienced a mysteriously gone gone wrong phone call? You want to have a good customer service, as in, if you want to be treated. Treat it in a way that you want to be treated. Treat your, treat your customer the same way. You don't want to have a, um, make a bad impression, first impression. So the tone of voice, your attitude, you have to be happy. You have to love your job. Same thing will tell you the same. Listening and responding skills are, that's the main one right there, listening and responding skills. Because if you're not listening to what the other person is saying, then you're going to have to go back and say, I'm sorry, ma'am, what was that again? Can you please repeat the, um, the question? And then the, other, and then the ability to articulate clearly is by speaking clearly. And again, back to mood and attitude. You need to have that phone voice where you're happy, excited, you love your job, and the attitude. Anyone can easily master great phone skills, but if you're just a person that wants to sell, sell, sell your product and you don't care about your, your customer, I don't think you have great phone skills at all. That's like not what I not what I care to do. More joint venture venture business opportunities. Yes, when you have a great when you do have a great um, relationship already on the first hand over the phone, that is like you'll have complete service again. They're, they will call your business again. They will refer you because you have a great attitude. And if you're one like me that as soon as I get to speak with the company that I'm calling and I want to know something and they come back with a great positive attitude, I'm going to definitely call them back again and, and, and rate them and um, refer them as well. So you want to always hear yes, yes, yes. <laughs> So I want to just list five rules of great phone etiquette. You want to use polite phrases, um, create trust with the person on the other end of the line. You want to practice intentionally, back to customer service, loving your job. Next one would be tone of voice. Is everyone happy in the morning when you answer a call? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I only heard a couple of people here that said yes, and now the rest is like, hmm. No. If you haven't had that first cup of coffee in the morning, I mean, if you're one of those person that needs a first cup of coffee in the morning, and you're one of them, Chris, yes. okay, you're just like going to end it because she's the same way, and I'm her daughter, so I need to see on her good side. <laughs> and then you want to avoid mild tones because that actually comes off as a sarcasm to the other person on the other line. If you're low, that just 
you know, they can't hear you clearly and they think that you're just not interested when you have a low voice. So you want to seek a bright and happy tone always with a smile and just hear your, just hear your um, customer on the other end. Know what their needs are, know what their wants are and, and you can help them out and they can, they will rate you, refer you and even say like, give you a compliment. Like, thank you so much. Your your customer service was awesome. I I am definitely gonna rate you, and um, I hope that your attitude is like this for all your callers. You know, like some kind of compliment is always great. Yes. I'm gonna yeah. say exactly what you said, basically, but kind of expanding. I used to do um, like a marketing like cold calling thing for a financial company in the past, mm-hmm. and financial nobody company. likes cold calling. I mean, that's like you get hung up on like 20 times, 30 times a day. If, that minimum, mm-hmm. but like one simple thing that I incorporated is just smiling before right. I call because right. that'll automatically just boost your yes. level yes. of energy. Yes, and with your same, with that kind of attitude, they'll have the same attitude as well. Okay. Yes, Kelly? I would, I'll, I'll tag on to that. A lot of people who do uh, a lot of cold calling or work in call centers, um, they always suggest to put a mirror in front of you to, put you to, in, to make you smile. On that, I actually call. asked. Um, I was on a call with AT and T, and I actually had to ask him. He can hear all all the phone calls, no. all the everything in the background. And I was like, you know, my 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 work field um, has to do with answering um, phones. So I just have a quick question. Do you have a mirror in front of you that you see yourself smiling, being happy? He's like, he he like laughed at me, and and he was like, no, I'm I'm just having that great attitude by having a great attitude and a good personality to um, hear your wants of, of the customer, he's like, you won't even need a mirror. And I said, yeah, you're absolutely right. But yeah, if you, ever, if you smile, it comes through in your voice. Uh, and so yeah, a lot of people who work on the phone or do a lot of cold calling, they keep a mirror so that they can make sure, like, remind themselves to smile. Even though they're having a crappy day. And like yeah. a, natural, a natural way of talking too, because sometimes they have scripts, mm-hmm. and they can be sound the happiest people on earth, but they're like reading off the script, and I'm just like, oh, really? I'm actually going to stop it and I'm going to actually put something like that. Yeah. And then back to the phone etiquette skill number three. So you want to avoid surprising the other person. Always give the caller verbal hints to where the conversation will be going. That being... It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. I don't know how much time I'm going to get quicker. Okay. And then phone etiquette skill number four. Be articulate. Practice speaking clearly and slowly. This really has helped me in a way to... I was never a big, um, a big speaker in front of all these people. I'm surprised that I'm not falling on my butt right now. But um, as well as saying pause when the caller is speaking, like you just, who here has had a conversation on the phone and it's like they're talking and then you're talking and it's like they interrupt you and then it's like, okay, now what are we talking about now? Has anyone had a phone call like that? And so that, that's another one as well. Repeat words nicely or questions if necessary. And then for the etiquette skill number five, practice listening, assure, listening, assure the other that they have been heard. So don't interrupt, but interrupt to where you already know where the call is going. Like, um, gosh, I think but anyways, so where the call is going wrong when you're listening and they're, they're talking about something that you already know, just say, hey ma'am, I, I can answer your question already. So don't, and then don't interrupt, only if it's necessary. Repeat what you've heard, say how you can help, what I just said, phrases to learn, practice, and internalize, which is, how may I help you? Thank you for calling. Could you repeat that name again, our company? One moment while I transfer you. May I take a message? Okay, so this is for be there to answer calls or hire that service out. So who here is a business owner? Who here answers their calls on a regular basis? Um, do you take all the calls? I mean, do you return them as well if you miss a call? Yeah. Okay. Anything in this article has has resonated with you, I would um, be glad to, get, 
to uh, be glad to schedule a consultation for further exploration, discovery, and action.